So it's day 21 uh, out here at the athletics track again, cutting some laps in the brain. It's not going to stop the process. Just as I was talking about the rain, the sun's come out, so that's really good. Um, thought I would today talk about um, prehab and how important I think it is and I think it contributes to uh, the way I am today and how I'm walking you know just you know 21 days so well around about six months of um, prehab uh, included some leg exercises some weight um, I was lucky enough to have a stable enough day to do so so if you do I really uh, encourage you to do that because um, I went into the operation extremely healthy fit and feeling really well. Um, also, it's uh, it's pretty cool to have um, so much positive feedback. Um, I've had people from all over the world message me uh, in regards to these um, vlogs. So, um, you know, the, the main reason I'm doing this is because I said earlier on there's not enough uh, videos out there to suggest and tell you what to do going through this process, and there's not enough, a lot of people telling you because the doctors won't, um, how mentally tough it can be, so um, super pumped that I'm getting a lot of um, positivity out of it and hopefully it helps. So we'll just uh, check out the knees progression. Uh, having a look at it there, as you can see, this uh, incision here is nice and healed. A little bit of numbness here, but that's expected, especially when um, they're cutting through nerves. But so from about here, I can't feel. But anyway, that's fine. Um, this is the only cut that needs to pretty much heal. So um, it's not far off it anyway. This one's good and. All of these have healed, so you know, you're looking at about 16 days before everything's good, but um, yeah, you know, once they're healed up, I'll be able to go onto the, uh, the pool and, and start doing some um, aerobic work in the pool, so yeah. So whilst I'm doing this exercise, it may look pretty easy, but you don't realise how, how sore it can actually be. To the fact that I don't have hams, as much hamstring as I normally do, so this feels really weird. Again, you, you don't really realise what you got until it's gone. Diet is very important. Make sure you're eating lots of vegetables, um, products that are high in protein, high in calcium, uh, cut down on the sugar. Um, not a lot though, because your body is working over time, so it does require a bit of sugar. Um, awesome trying to mend but uh yeah eat well eat healthy um don't eat your fatty foods it's not gonna help don't drink alcohol It'll definitely slow the process down this swordfish is like gold you want to see it yeah but we've had swordfish last two no, months i haven't had it i haven't fish that fish and that swordfish look at this it's been ever since months in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> this is called a muscle stimulator or a contractor machine. Um, you can pick one of these up on the internet. It is by the company TGS. Um, what it does is, especially when you're immobilized for a while, and like I've said in, in previous videos, you lose up to 5% of your quad muscle um, and calf muscle every day you don't use it. So what this machine does, if, you, if you've got an injury where you might be in a moon boot or you know your knee surgery requires your leg to be straight for a period of time, uh, this sends, once turned on, um, some electric signals. You place it on, to, I'm not gonna do it now because I've just stretched, but you place it on um, the, the affected muscle, um, like so, and what happens is, is it causes these um, muscles to twitch and, and Track. Um, so for those that know me pretty well, um, Dad's a bit of a character at home. Anyway, um, 
got some clothes ordered the other day. I just, you know, put this little video in just to show you that uh, what he's doing to make me laugh. So you can walk, you can walk better than I can. Nah, it's a pretty. Yeah, I've got sore joints. Look at those sore joints. Oh, no sore joints. What are you talking about? You can walk better than me. What have you got there? A pair of socks. Look, they're nice. Yeah. Comfy, aren't they? I don't put it on a bag of meat, mate. <laughs> Yeah, better than those bonds that you bought me. They, no, they, no. They, they, they're good for my grandmother. And beautiful. You see the grandmother ones? No, yeah, I'll put them on. They are beautiful. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> Don't wear them like that, you idiot. Well, where do I wear them? <laughs> Not like that either.